Uh, hello, everyone. Here, here we want to present you our deep learning project, Game Theory for Adversarial Attacks and Defense. Our team is ideal.dll. Our team members are Hai Yu, Tong, Bifei, and Jingxuan. Here is our agenda. We'll talk about our problem, our task, our methods and results, and our conclusion. So deep neural networks are vulnerable to adversarial samples. As you can see from the picture, adversarial samples are generated by applying small but intentionally worst case perturbations to original samples, which leads to state-of-the-art models outputting incorrect answers with high confidence. Uh, this posed great threat to deep neural networks, especially in safety critical scenarios like auto driving, fault detection, etc. Given the threat from adversarial samples, defense methods have been developed to improve the security and robustness of deep neural networks. In this project, we are on the defense side to apply game theoretic approaches on, different, on defending against attacks. We have developed three methods, which we'll talk about later. So our task is to come up with effective defense methods. We use the uh, CIFAT-10 as the data set. Um, it has 16,032 times 32 colored images in 10 different classes, as shown in the right side. We have applied several data transformation, uh, which includes normalization, and we use random crop and random horizontal flip in our training data. The first strategy we use uh, to defense is random in initialization. We random initialize the network with different random seed uh, 100 times. So for each image, we can have a 100 uh, prediction. And during inferencing, we, uh, we do a majority vote among the 100 prediction and get the final result. Uh, next page. But we assume that uh, the attacker cannot succeed in our uh, networks. They can, uh, for the most network, they will still make uh, the correct uh, prediction. And here's the result. The last column is the majority vote uh, of the attack image. We can see this column is higher than the left one. Uh, this is the main accuracy without majority vote. And also with the uh, epoch increasing, uh, uh, the majority of the accuracy decreased because the network become similar to each other. Next page. And then we came up with another idea to create diversity of networks. It is similar to dropout technique, but it's more likely to sample nodes with high absolute value. Uh, these are those advantages. Uh, we can create a large set of different networks by just using only one per train networks. So it will take much less competition than retraining the networks again and again. It is, a, it is also pretty easy to compare gradients of the input images. Next page. Uh, here the whole uh, algorithm. Uh, after the activations, uh, we sample the nodes based on the multinomial distribution. And for those unsampled nodes, we zero out their values. And for those survived nodes, we scale up their activations to preserve the range of the activation layer. Next. And we use a scale up factor in the algorithm and we use the different sampling ratio. From the result, we can see uh, with a 100% sampling ratio, we can make the networks perform the best. Next. We also implement an effective image restoration approach inspired by the previous works, which has a strong defense mechanism to mitigate the perturbations of adversarial images. As the figure shows, a deep network is learned to map all of the manifold adversarial images onto the natural clean image manifold, which makes the classifier able to classify them correctly. Next page. The approach pipeline is as shown below. To start, we mitigate the effect of adversarial noise by using the soft wave layer denoising. And next, we utilize deeper super resolution as a mapping strategy to transform the images as well as enhancing the image view qualities. Next. The table shows the experiment results of our improved super resolution based adversarial defense towards different white box attacks in the CPR10 dataset. Next. For conclusion, random initialization adds more diversities, which make DNNs more robust towards adversarial samples. 
and SAP-like networks also improve the defense by stochastic protein activations and reduce commutation by sharing weights and bias. The image restoration method based on wavelet deloising and super-resolution proves to be effective against the adversarial samples while retaining the classification accuracies. That's all. Thanks very much for your attention and listening.